Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you're all having a blessed day. Um, I just wanted to get on here and make a quick video about a dream that I had in October of last year, 2021. And um, I've been having um, end time dreams and other dreams from the Lord for about the last year, ever since um, I d rededicated my life to Him um, at the beginning of 2021. But this is one um, that really ties into end time events and something that I've been wanting to share for a while. Um, so I'll just jump right into it. So in the dream, me and my husband were in a wooded area and we were kind of hiking around and um, all of a sudden it got dark, um, like the sky darkened, not like pitch black, but it definitely got darker. And we looked up to the sky to see what would cause that. And we saw this um, round portal um, open in the sky. And um, inside of the portal was like this blue shimmering light. It was like a, a kind of an electric blue or an ultraviolet blue almost. Um, and then as soon as I saw that, I saw balls of light flying through the sky and the balls of light kind of reminded me of like UFOs but I'm not sure in the dream that that's what they were they could be angels but um, if any of you have been seeing all the crazy UFO footage that the media has been propping up um, lately um, it kind of looked like that like little balls of light and they were all flying together um, in a group and um, when I saw this, um, I immediately had this knowing that the rapture was going to happen at any minute. And uh, we looked over and there was a school um, close by. And so we ran to the school to go inside. It was like an elementary school, um, like a single story school building. We ran in to go inside. Um, until we could figure out like what's going on and people it was just chaos inside the building like people were running around in the halls like everyone knew something was happening um and i stopped my husband and i told him honey the rapture is about to happen um you need to accept the free gift that god is giving you now because at that point i was um still very uncertain about my husband's salvation um and so we knelt down and i put my hands on his head and i prayed over him and just said lord lord please let him accept the free gift that you're offering him and my husband in that moment accepted christ and then we got up and we ran down the hall um to go look outside again to see what was happening and when we got outside there was a mountain in the distance um not super far away though and it was very large rocky mountain and um i saw the mountain start to burst open um and it was like water was bursting out of it um all over and um, then the rock of the mountain started to kind of move in a kind of rock slide and the mountain was so huge and close that I knew that it was going to overtake us, this, this big rock slide. And so we looked over and there was a line of cars at the school, like parents, like if you've ever been at a school pickup line, there's like cars lined up to pick up kids from school. And so there was all these cars lined up, but there was no one in the cars. And so we jumped in one of the cars to get away and um, right at that moment, we heard crying. And I turn around in the back seat and I look in the back seat and there's four um, baby girls, all like baby, all the same age, baby girls. They could have been like twins or whatever, I, like four of them though. <laughs> and they were taking up the whole back seat and they were crying. And in that moment, we kind of froze. Um, and 
we just had this feeling of like, what do we do? You know, do we take them with us? Like we have to leave now or else this rock slide is just gonna wipe us out. But there's these babies, like, do we just bring them? And we just felt like the Lord was just telling us to take them too, to save them. And um, in that moment, I had this thought of like, oh, it's gonna be okay because um, you know, when we get to a safe place, I can feed them because at the time I was still nursing my daughter. And it was interesting because my daughter, um, she wasn't in this dream at all, <sighs> except for that kind of mental note. Um, I acknowledged her in the dream. And then um, I woke up. So, um, yeah, I mean, instantly it reminded me of a few things that I had read. Um, the first verse that I'll read to you is Revelation 6, 12 through 17. And it says, I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair. The whole moon turned blood red and the stars in the sky fell to earth as figs drop from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind. The heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up and every mountain and island was removed from its place. And the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich and the mighty, and everyone else, both free and slave, hid in the caves among the rocks of the mountains. They called to the mountains, and the rocks fall on us, hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come. And who can withstand it? Um, so I thought about that verse because it kind of like a lot of the elements were similar to my dream you know the sky was darkened it was like dimmed and then i saw this portal open up which i mean in my dream it was like a round portal it was like something out of a sci-fi movie um and it was like shimmering on the inside um and then i saw you know the the balls of light flying across the sky and to me they didn't seem like um like asteroids they were like glowing orbs of light um but maybe when it says the stars fall from heaven maybe they're referencing um angels because i know stars and angels are synonymous um but um oh and then the the uh, every mountain and island was removed from its place and so i started looking in the bible for more references on mountains crumbling and um, all throughout scripture, you can find references whenever the Lord's presence descends on the earth, mountains shake and crumble. Um, and I was looking at, you know, just like all the references seem to be in the books of the prophets too, largely. There's um, some in Exodus, you know, when the Lord touches down on Mount Sinai, um, but most of them are in the prof prophetic books. Um, so I'll read just a couple of them to you guys. Um, this one's Nahum um, 1 verse 5 and 6 and it reads the mountains quake before him and the hills melt away the earth trembles at his presence and the world and all who live in it who can withstand his indignation who can endure his fierce anger his wrath is poured out like fire the rocks are shattered before him and then Micah 1 uh, verse 3 through 4 reads look the lord is coming from his dwelling place he comes down and treads on the heights of the earth the mountains melt beneath him and the valleys split apart like wax before the fire like water rushing down a slope all this is because of jacob's transgression because of the sins of the people of israel and then in um, jeremiah um, 4 verse 23 through 26 um, it reads, I looked at the earth and it was formless and empty and at the heavens and their light was gone. I looked at the mountains and they were quaking. All the hills were swaying and I looked and there were no people. Every bird in the sky had flown away. And then in Isaiah, uh, 64, one. Uh, it reads, oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down that the mountains would tremble before you. 
and then in Psalms uh, 18 verse 7 it reads um, the earth trembled and quaked and the foundations of the mountain shook they trembled because he was angry so um, all these scriptures are kind of like weaving together um, I, I mean if you guys have read the, the prophetic books so many of the elements are similar and um, I believe that they are prophecies about the day of the Lord um, and this is just one element of it but um, one of the most incredible things about this uh, a dream that I had is um, it was really vivid like a lot of my dreams from the Lord are and when I woke up the next day, I just had to tell my husband, like it was, I just wanted to tell him right away. And I was telling him and, um, you know, I got to the part where, you know, I told him like, you have to accept Jesus now, like the rapture is about to happen and how I prayed over him. And um, he said, Hannah, I've accepted Jesus. And I was just like, what, <laughs> you have? Um, my husband's a really private person and, um, his walk with the Lord has been something that he's kind of wanted to take at his own pace. And I completely understand and respect that. Um, but this was like news to me that he had actually made it official that he wanted to give his life to Jesus. So I was just so elated in that moment. Um, and, uh. Yeah, maybe maybe this dream was given as um, kind of a little nudge from the Lord for me to ask him about it um, in kind of a, <laughs> a roundabout way. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, um, we know that the day of the Lord is going to be unlike anything that we've ever seen before in history. And, you know, the sins of the world have been piling up for centuries and millennia really um, and God doesn't turn a blind eye to the abominations that are happening in the world he gives a time frame and you see this throughout the Old Testament of like he'll give a people a certain time before their judgment comes um, like he's even said like don't fight these people yet because they're they're their time has not yet come. The time of their of their judgment is isn't fulfilled yet. Um, but I really feel that you just look around at the world today and how it is so corrupt and so wicked. It's like you can't go anywhere, do anything, listen to anything without the influences of the enemy just bombarding you. And um and those are the mild things. Those are the things that people are comfortable like talking about and doing and singing and playing their music in public. Just think about all the things that happen in the dark places. Um, the people that suffer, you know, at the hands of their oppressors and just really dark stuff happens in the world still. Um, and I pray about that a lot, that the Lord will just work in those situations and give them comfort and, and be the light in those situations. Use those, um, use their suffering to bring them closer to him. But I just know, guys, it can't get much worse. The state of the world can't get much worse than this. I mean, unless there's just literally people running around the streets, I mean, slashing people up <laughs> in broad daylight, which that does happen. That happens too, right? You have people who just run around and kill people in broad daylight. I actually, there was an incident. I live in a really safe community um, where nothing happens. And we live really close to a police station, but not very far from us, there was a shooting someone got shot in the head um, in broad daylight and that person died and um, that really shook shook everybody so these things happen you know it's 
it's getting so bad out there. But yeah, I just really wanted to share this with everyone in case that it was a encouragement to you that he's coming soon. He's coming soon. He's not gonna let this keep going on forever. He is a just God and he's a God who is full of perfect love, but also perfect justice. And you can't separate those two things. So um, I hope to get on here and make more videos. I have a lot of other dreams to share and I hope you guys um, found value in this and that it blesses you in some way. Until we chat again, blessings.